It is now time for the Legal Minute with Paul Harding from Martin Harding and Mazzotti at 1-800-LAW-1010. Good morning, Paul. Hey, good morning, guys. Good morning, Paul. Oh, good morning. Now, what is going on with this making a murderer? I watched the first, like, I hate to call it a season or a series. Oh, my God, you're movie. all about this show. I was watching it, but it's it's serious about this guy who went in jail, went to jail for killing this news reporter uh, trying to claim his innocence. You're watching the whole show, but now there's something about the nephew is getting out. Yeah, if you start watching this show, and again, I saw it on Netflix, you can't stop watching. I mean, yeah. you're just committed to it because each episode, you get more and more frustrated with, with the uh, criminal justice system, and you're never quite sure where your allegiances lie. Right? Yeah. Do you like him? Do you not like him? Is he guilty? But the nephew, yeah, this nephew guy, his name is Dassey, he also went to jail, and to watch, and if you've seen it, you've seen it, but if you haven't, to watch the investigators talk to him and elicit a version of the facts, you know, a confession, if you will, um, was just hard to watch. I mean, this kid had limited uh, intellectual capacity. He was 16. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, he, the way they asked him the questions, uh, the courts finally looked at this, the federal court, and said, no, 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 no. This is not how you conduct an investigation. And quite frankly, having watched it myself, it doesn't feel like a technicality. It feels like the right thing. Interesting. I was wondering, I do remember that. I remember he had a hard time answering the questions, and they, it's almost like they answered it for him, and almost like he had no other option except to nod and agree. Yeah, he, he had, uh, they said that he had the ability, he was 16, but he was uh, sort of operating at about a second or, or third grade level in terms of his ability to comprehend questions and things. And yes, they were feeding him the information, and he was kind of grunting, yeah. So did, yeah. so you saw the news yesterday now that he's getting out? Yeah, so, you know, right, you know, first of all, this went through the state courts and then they went to the federal court, habeas corpus, one of those big fancy terms that where the federal judge said, no, we're going to we're, we're gonna throw this out and give this guy a chance. You know, they could retry the case. They could do lots of things. So this is really just step one of this. Um, hopefully it just resolves something uh Pretty, pretty simple the way you're describing. Wow, and this is on Netflix. Oh yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna have to start watching yeah, I, this. I warned, I, yeah, once you watch, you're gonna watch. You're committed to ten episodes, probably. It's hard not to continue watching this. Mm-hmm. This documentary is what it is. Yeah, that yeah. sounds good. That's, All right, that's true, yeah. and for anybody who's just uh, saying, hey, what's the name of that show, Mary? Making a murderer. Yes. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, and Paul, thanks for uh, hanging out with us every week. It's uh, Paul Harding from Martin Harding and Mazzotti. Yes, you see him on TV, that that dashing, good-looking guy. Oh, no, that's the other guy. <laughs> that is the other guy. That is a good-looking one. <laughs> <laughs> They're all good-looking. At 1-800-LAW-1010. Paul, we'll check you next week, brother. <laughs> thanks, guys. See ya.